Last week, arbitrators under the World Bank ordered the Korean government to compensate Lone Star for supposedly holding up a deal to sell its stake in a local bank. Seoul issued a report on the ruling pointing out that one of the three members of the arbitration panel found no evidence of government exerting such pressure. Han Sung-woo has the latest. Cheat and run. That's how the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes describes Lone Star's guilty conviction following a 2011 Korean Supreme Court ruling on stock price manipulation. South Korea's Justice Ministry on Tuesday revealed a summary of the investor-state dispute settlement between the Korean government and Lone Star surrounding the company's 2012 sale of Korea Exchange Bank. The 22-page report showed, however, that the International Arbitration Tribunal had judged South Korea's financial authorities to be responsible for delaying its approval for Lone Star's sale, in fear of backlash from politicians and the public. The tribunal's majority opinion from two judges pointed out that South Korea took a wait-and-see approach until the sale price was reduced, violating its duty of providing fair treatment. On the other hand, a third judge, the minority, said there was no direct evidence to suggest pressure from South Korean authorities aimed at lowering the price. Lone Star had sought to be paid 4.68 billion U.S. dollars in the claim it filed nearly 10 years ago, of which the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes ordered the South Korean government last week to pay $216.5 million in damages, plus interest. In response, South Korea's Justice Minister Han dong said the ruling was unacceptable and that he'd be seeking its annulment. AP reports Lone Star had initially planned to sell to HSBC before the British bank dropped its $6 billion bid in 2008 after South Korean officials delayed their approval of the transaction. They cited legal concerns. A former Lone Star executive found guilty of manipulating the stock price of a KEB credit card unit. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.